Sorry, partner. How y'all are doing? Greetings. My goodness, I, I could go see that. Well, really, come and see me. Good to see you. Watch your step, partner. Why don't you and me spend a little time together? Much obliged. Can die of thirst here. Black water just keeps on getting big. Spend some time Damn. with me. Is that right? Well, well. Fill me up, partner. Just let me know when you need another. Biggest thing to happen at Coots of late was my work on the bed. A man like you needs a woman like me. <laughs> Will you just shut the hell up? What they were. Hey, Hansel, are you busy? You will you take my drink. I reckon you ain't much of a fighter.
little lesson. Forgive me, friend. start losing stock. Mr. Marston, how are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> How very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy, your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. A man who, if he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull, feeding to the vultures myself. Uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, uh, um, Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, 
that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <coughs> is money. Money? <coughs> what are you talking about? Oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. And I need some danger money. So let's sell some more of these cures. <coughs> sell cures? Around here? Do you want to see me lynched? Oh, no. The sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. <laughs> but come, let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. <laughs> now, sir, two gap, two breach. Seth is an interesting fellow, is he not? I wouldn't say interesting, more deeply disturbed. I can see why you two get along. I see the good in everybody, John. It's a flaw of mine. I have a soft spot for life's Watson and Jensen. In connection with him, more like, you and Seth have a lot in common. You both rob people for one. Mind you, at least he waits until they're dead. Oh, my dear boy. Nobody is more critical of drinkers than a drunk who's mended his ways. What are you talking about? Come on now, John. I've heard about you. You spent your life robbing people. It's a little inappropriate to be taking the moral high ground now. I had the courtesy to put a gun in their face. Whatever helps you sleep easily at night. We stole from those who had too much. We tried to give to those who had too little. And Robin Hood whispers. Oh, romantic. You expect me to believe that poppycock? Maybe I'll have the good fortune to be able to leave my nefarious life behind one day and work on the government's dime. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Dear, oh dear, simmer down, my boy. You need to start appreciating your friends more. Folks around here don't see you as any different from Bill Williamson. I didn't think I'd have to huckster snake oil and dig up the dead, that's all. Take it from me, John. Collaboration is the key to success. I can help you. Seth can help you. It's business. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no need to make it quite so personal. Suits me. some stress. These races are Byzantine in their ferocity, and the terrain is treacherous. People will do just about anything to win. Men die. It's a marvelous spectator sport. Sounds like fun. And you are my wild card, John. They won't be expecting you. So what's your role in all this? Think of me as your spiritual guide. Do I have to? You are a free man, of course, but I strongly recommend it. Imagine, just for today, you are not an aging bounty hunter, and I am not an avant-garde business pioneer. No, sir. Today, we are gladiators. Motivation, dear boy. I'm definitely feeling motivated to get the hell out of here.
Tom. Gap tooth reach. Whoa, no. Let's go! 
of a race, mister. I'll take care of this cart for Mr. Wes Dickens. Come on, John. I suggest we beat a hasty retreat. Right. Best remove ourselves from the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Fine by me. Wasn't that fantastic? The tears of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels. The fallen rocks, the homicidal maniac. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take the racing very seriously in these parts. And your participation was not entirely pre-approved. That was clear. Ah, sport, war, and heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I'd get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish? Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Um, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. What could be better? Settle down with a fat woman. I hope you ain't tending to spread your venereals around camp. Ain't I sincerely thank you.
I'll be having that. Hello there. There you go. You hear Jed Murphy at the gun shop lost his gun to Apollo? That's a fine deal. When we're done, you'll need some of Old Mom Fowler's blacksmith powder. Good. I got what I need. Sorry about this, partner. Here you are. Got your money back. You're a real American, pard. Keep some of the money for payment. I've never lost a single piece of merchandise. No Salado employees. You know, John, from the rail lines to Allende. Where do you have your wings and halo hidden? 
maybe the scab herders come on. have it right. Easy Just now. Just let the government have the supplies come in this week. How are you, mister? My products are of the finest quality, sir. Tornadoes spotted up north. You're not supposed to be back here. Take care now. Hey, mister. I do. How many bullets you Howdy. Yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard. You thieving Nick cunt. You got it all wrong, Welsh. All wrong. It was French, I promise. He said he was going to rip you off. Now he's ripping me off. Yeah, keep on talking there, Iris. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black. Yeah. What's up, boys? <gasps> Fuck off, boy, oh. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Look here. This paddy bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. You reckon that fool Irish is worth dying for? <laughs> the French never won a fight in their bloody lives. A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. 
Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Already, my guardian angel, this way. Too far to walk. Mount up, fella. Come on, then. Let's find this guy. What's your name, friend? John. John Marston. Stroke of luck you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those blind specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, me pa always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellows who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. The gun's stored just inside that chest. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. This is mighty generous of you, mister. It's not here. That lion sack of shit! Can I borrow this, friend?
Were you eating? is quick. Last still. <laughs>
Get away from me! Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found you one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> it gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Uh. Come on, then. We'll find your precious gun. somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. Me intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus, you're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your games. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life, and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gaff Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always spiky bastards. Spend too long without daylight and boxes, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? You two-faced little bastard. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You must be lost, cowboy. This is private property. Open
close! What the hell are you doing here? I doubt you'll be needing this.
ain't me, it's someone else. What have we got here? I need it more than you now. gentlemen. My apologies, mister.
thought I'd be looking at your corpse being hauled up this lip. Load up and I'll engage the gears. She is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down below. Don't let go of her. She's a beast. Let's go! A short wee ride now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way.
Osborne has to cut me free, will ya? Help me, please! Jimmy, <laughs> I didn't know you were a miner. I'm not, Sport. This is the first time that I've ever been underground. But I like getting a preview of being buried. It should be fun, but not funny, what? Your eastern wit is wasted on my dumb western brain, Sport. Oh, don't worry, you're not missing much. I'm beginning to think that this article will be better written on a tropical island in the arms of a beautiful maiden. Interesting idea. Now, can we get out of here? Yes, please. I appreciate your help, sir, but now... Easy.
day's work, my friend. All right, let's see. Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. Get what you need? Ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. <laughs> Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> well, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I don't. Not since Mammy died. Seth, what are you going to do with those bodies? <sighs> I'm going to take them back to a nice, quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. I think we should be getting out of here, partner. Can't wait to get my hands on these. Find some place quiet near Tumbleweed. I got a feeling that treasure's around there somewhere. for the people of Armadillo to see my friends back here. By the way, I saw Wes Dick. He told me there's no ammunition in that machine gun of yours. Sounds like I need to pay Irish another visit. Where are you? Come on, don't be shy. What did you say? I didn't say nothing. Are you talking to them? 
So what if I am? I feel less alone with them than in a crowd of people. The way I see it, they lost their souls, just like me. You're truly a sick man, Seth. You remind me of why I hate people. For a man who kills so much, you sure seem to have a problem with the dead. Life kills everyone in the end. <laughs> they ain't so different from you and me. Aside from them being dead and rotting, I guess they ain't. All right, Seth. Calm down. You talk to the corpses and I'll drive the wagon. They're coming after us! Get us out of here! Can't you go any faster? Oh, that boy. This is ours! Head up. Stop that wagon now or you'll be joining us! Fast as you can, partner! I'll search these bodies as we go! We gotta go faster, partner! Can't you see we're in a rush here? Yeah! This fella had a few bucks on him. So, I guess this is goodbye. Hey, this fella's a little right. Bet he's got something on. Who's got a chance for sad? Well, there's some bullets on this one. Better than a poke in the eye. It's been a pleasure meeting you. You're stiff as a whore. Relax. I just want a little look-see. Eeny, meeny, mighty mo. Head left at this turn. Oh, look here. I found me a few bullets. Keep touch, old pal. Go left up here. Where's my map? Come on. Whisper to me. Christ alive! It's the map! I found the map! Move them horses, damn it! Looks like the treasure's in Tumbleweed! That's where I was headed! It's fate! Keep going! We're almost there! Come on, let's get this wagon moving! I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. Oh, it's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a stench. Hey, Seth. Oh. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? Uh, how you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. 
<laughs> okay. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. <laughs> partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Go now. It's our last chance. It's locked. Let's try around the back. Go. Come on, Seth.
Don't get my treasure, mister! <laughs> What's that meant to be? Mister, they're gonna take my treasure! Sorry, partner. After all these years, <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> what the goddamn hell is this? A glass eye. I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> Stupid liars! Those stupid chicken shit maps! Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye! It's a glass eye! Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. Hunting dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. What you got on you, friend?
This is a messy one. Mr. Marston, sir, John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, 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 so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> You read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. Um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> Uh... -huh. 
Gentlemen, gather round, gather round. My friends, are you ready to change your lives forever? Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, swelling... This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right I now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take a business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. I think we should leave Plainview for another day, John. Come on, John! I'm not waiting here much longer! Science's rocky road. That's it! I bet Louis Pasteur didn't have to deal with this shit. Ignorant hillbillies. I don't know. I'd say they're pretty astute. Look to the front, John! Hold on! The road looks clear. Let's push on to Cueva Seca. Really? For a man of the people, you sure ain't very popular. I am up against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. Keep your eye out, John. Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never get up on science, John. People harbor such bitterness. Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. this? 
Jesus. Up ahead. Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Well, uh, yes, uh, perhaps we should shelve the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. How do you do, sir? Showed some real metal out there today, my boy. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Let's go, my dear boy. I'll show you the way. <clears throat> So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, uh, before knowledge comes doubt, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. 
No, I mean us. Ridgewood Farm, Gaptooth Creek, Plainview. We make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. There's Rascaller Fork up ahead. on the little feller. I hear one man with... Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, Every cliff day. pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Come on! Out of my way! Come on!
lucky king, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunco, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? my friend. You off your game? I'm gonna die alone. Why won't nobody help me? Well done. That can't be the best you can do. Don't know what happened there. Pretty good. Very nice.
Not bad. You're pretty good. Well thrown. You won! Let's see how my luck is. Good luck. Come on, live a little. I will not accept this from anyone. How are you doing? I'm about that means, means to bleed you.
think I could nap a little you. And you look fine this day. Hello there. Hello. Yep. That didn't work. My considerable experience is screaming, Double down! Good. You're in. Why, hello. Well, how do you do? Stay. Stick. Hey, hit me. Howdy. You lucky bastard. Let's clean this dealer out. Good luck. I'll feel it. That's it. That's quite enough, thanks. How are you doing? You said I'm Howdy. wasting a valuable business opportunity, like I was born yesterday. I'm doing? staying, mister. Give me another. Why, hello. Hello. Ah, oh, come I'm on. experienced enough to know when to stay. That's what I like to see. Felix Middle. Noble sentiment, I'm sure. I don't know why I play this game. Stay. Now we're talking. That's quite enough, thanks. Hmm. All Why, right. Hello. Brave. I'm staying, mister. I'll stand. Double down. Thank you very much. Do you piss sitting down? Interesting. That's yours. And you look fine this day.
Hello there. Hit me. Yeah, one more. Boss, I'm experienced enough to know when to stay. Hello. That's more like it. Don't take my card now. Another card, mister. Stay. I think I'll stand. Blue walls of fight. Nothing sobers me up like the smell of blood and viscera. Good luck. How do you do? You got any balls in them pants? You want a good time? It's right here. I don't think my dear wife would appreciate that too much. My considerable experience is screaming, Double down! He told me to take father's college fund and use it to buy... I heard, I heard. Goodbye. Goodbye now. I'm staying, mister. I'll take one. I declare. Don't be shy, big man. Spend some time with me. You're a nice lady and all, but this ain't my thing no more. I'll leave it there. I would prefer a more intimate means of killing you, but this lead-based method may suffice. For Christ's sakes! Good. You're in. Hit me. Hello. Hello. I'm Felix Middleton. How do you do? Guess I'll double down. That's quite enough, thanks. You brand me like a steer any time. Unfortunately, I've got a wife. Stay. What a pile of trash. Much obliged. Let's clean this dealer out. I'm staying, mister. Hello. You gonna poke me with your peacemaker? Boy? Double down. That's it. I told him I wasn't buying any land until I found a proper career. If that's true, I'm the queen of England. That's Why, great. Hello. Thank you. See you around. Hello there. Stick. These thighs squeeze the life out of you, boy. Chip. Well played, I guess. Hmm. All right. Go for it. Another card, mister.
Come on, live a little. Howdy. Hello. That's gotta hurt. The bacon is sweeter than it is out here. Uh huh. Goodbye now, Tom. Right here. Double down for me. Damn. Interesting. Reckless. I like it. Card. Stay. I'm gonna double down. Give me another card. Thank you. That's what I like to see. I will not accept this from anyone. Hit me. You sure are cowardly. I'm all right. I'm experienced enough to know when to stay. I never was How any good at this. Hey, want to play some blackjack? Hello. I'm Felix. You don't know my wife, miss. Careful, mister. Why won't nobody help me? <laughs> hey, partner, I need your help. You and every other fool around here. No, they took her. They took my love. They stole Jeff's heart, and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking they about, took, friend? They took my love. They took Jeb's love by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? <sighs> I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. I have a soul. <laughs> <laughs>
You're very sure of yourself, mister. I didn't even concentrate. Let's go! Slow it up now. Come on! Come on, easy up now! What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I seen him at Raskeller Fort. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Lawman shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave himself his medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy. Short black hair. Mustache. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. <sighs> Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gon' made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come on then. All right, follow me. should never have listened to that crazy fool. Mercy mission. So did Jeb offer you some kind of reward for this? No, miss. I was just helping him out. I'm just like you. A real sweetheart. Most people out here strike me as being kind of funny. But Jeb, he 
He's a special type. I'm inclined to agree with you, miss. Such a lady, I long to hold you. I missed you so much. You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs> You got yeah, no more to be attended to. Bye now. Me and Lucy got to catch up. Can a guy get a little privacy? Obliged. You take care of yourself now. That's it, fella. Stay calm.
Slow. Yeah. This speed looks right fetchy, I don't mind telling. Good luck, son. He's a wild one, and no mistake. Yeah. 
Let's see. Welcome. Why, hello. I keep foreign and Jewish made goods out of my store. Help our American families. I'm gonna court me a girl. I'm getting lonely. Thank you. Morning. Hope you enjoy that.
protecting yourself. Sleep. How are you, mister? There you go. Thanks. Let's begin. Hope you don't Howdy. Howdy. Good morning to you, sir. Not feeling ill, I... Hello, sir. You need Thanks something for that gout? to be a service to the oldest profession. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Let's go. There's a leading man if I ever saw one. Hello there. What brings a fine specimen like yourself to my humble establishment? Establishment? This place looks like a schoolhouse. Such limited thinking. Have you not seen the future, my friend? We make dreams! Are you not a devotee of the cinematic arts? Arts is what you call it? Granted, I only have a poor imitation of the true Nickelodeon. But that is why I am to build my new film studio and make New Austin with its cheap land and fine climate the second center for the motion picture industry. Hell, a couple good years now we'll be here. I'll produce adventure stories, as well as melodramas for the ladies. And even some fantastical shorts for children, young and old. Heard there's an old ranch ripe for exploitation just north of here. Apparently, the owner is a frequent lover and loser at the liar's dice tables over at Thieves Landing. If you could do me the favor to wrest control from him, I'd reward you quite highly. A career in the arts awaits. I'll see what I can do. Not much of a high-stakes gambler, and movies seem like drivel. Drivel? No, sir. We speak to a man's soul. Listen, if you run into a chap named Spatchcock, tell him to get back to work. Who? Spatchcock. Trained as the finest gunslinger and hero in motion picture history. Then the fool began to believe it was for real. And now he's run off to become a gunslinger. For real. Heard he's in Benedict Point. Fool will have himself killed if you don't help. If I see him, I'll tell him. A producer credit awaits, sir. Walking after that poker game. Mister, please help. Hey, girl, say. Trouble. 
Diddling yourself? Put them fingers on the table sure. and show me your skill. There ain't no point in proceeding if you're not going to wager. I bet you're going to end up with a hole in your head. I'm a trained professional. Hello. Good, but not good enough. Getting old. Oh no! You'd be in trouble if you cut your trigger finger off, wouldn't you? Oof. Oh my God! God! Word is Drew McFarlane half chopped his finger off and kept. I on knew playing. I wasn't drunk enough for this. Five finger fillet, sir.
I joined the party. I sure could use some help, partner. Name's Errol Hewitt. The damn Bollard gang's stolen my family's herd. I gotta get them back. They're all I got. Thanks, sport. You are a true American hero. Right. What are you doing down here? Well, I just thought I'd see a, a little bit of the local color, you know. But these gentlemen have seen to it that I've enjoyed the true hospitality of the frontier. Hey, uh, cigar? Let's get out of here. Right.
the way, I'll follow you out with the herd. This ain't nice, I know. Someone might as well... gentlemen sometimes, ma'am. This is dirty. Make this quick.
How do you do? What you searching for, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And we've been together 50 years now, me and my darling Annabelle. She's always loved these, these wild fever few that uh, grow around this place. You know. But she's, she's getting on now in years, and she, it's hard for her to get up and about. So I want to wanna bring her a lovely bouquet for our anniversary. Well, I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. Oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. Yeah, I'd love it. Sure, bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh? Something else I can do for you, partner? This looks like the one. Howdy, friend. I'm used to my time being wasted, but that don't mean I appreciate it. Okay. I think that's good for now. Don't 
tell your friends about me. You well? I told him I wasn't buying any land until I found a proper breeding. Big deal. Thank you. 